here we are. The FA Trophy Final. The final game of the season. The chance to win double silverware. And the chance to walk away with everything we could have won in non-league football. Well, not quite everything. I suppose we could have like got relegated to win the Vanarama National North and the FA Vars and all that kind of stuff as well. But for the most part, it's everything we could have won. Anyway, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well today and looking forward to today's episode. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be a big one. So make sure you drop a like on the video for me, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. We've worked hard to get here, you know. We've worked hard to get to the final. We had to beat some decent teams along the way. Gateshead, we had to beat. We had to beat Stockport. We had to beat Chorley. And now we're against Notts County. Notts County got here by managing to beat Kidderminster and Oxford City and Wellstone. So, you know, maybe a little bit of an easier run than we had. But still, we're both there at the end of the day. And it's going to be a good final. We do have a bit of an advantage heading into this game, though. We've had a week off since our last league game. County have had to go through the quarterfinals of the playoffs, and they played those on the 19th of May. It's now the 22nd of May, so they've not had much time to recover since beating Solihull Moors 2-1. Also going to be very disappointing for them if they lose to us in the final and then have to go and play the semi-finals a few days later on. They're not fully rested and lose that as well. So I do feel a little bit bad for County maybe, but it's gonna hopefully play into our hands today. So let's not mess around. Let's get straight into it and let's get the game underway. The team is exactly how we finished off last season, which maybe isn't quite ideal given we did lose to Stockport and draw with Dagenham and Redbridge, but it's still the team that I think is the best out there. Layton in goal with Lennon, Toes and Hayden in that back line. Harry Lennon with 18 goals to his name this season be great for him to get to 20. Medford Smith and Hosanna are in the wing-back roles with Tristan Needham and James Jones in the centre of midfield. Maybe a little disappointing this season, Luke Young. He's not really done a whole lot for us, to be fair, but still played 52 games across the season because he's virtually the only player who can play in the attacking midfield. He's joined by McCallendon, who will leave the club at the end of the season. I'm not going to renew his contract, but certainly we're going to keep hold of Paul Mullen with his 48 goals so far this season. If we can win 4-0, two from Lennon and two from Mullen to get to 50, that would be immense. And so Wembley awaits us here today. It's actually the third time that Wrexham have been to an FA Trophy final. They've won one and they've lost one. County, I don't think I've ever been to an FA Trophy final at all. And they're playing a quite tightly packed midfield today. Hmm, all right. But the teams come out of the tunnel here at Wembley Stadium. Get ready for the national anthem because that probably gets played at a cup final, doesn't it? But kickoff is now finally upon us. And this is going to start off not good for us because it's a corner. Oh, a corner of a county. And they look very dangerous from it. Nearly putting it in at the near post from a nicely worked routine. The resulting second corner is dealt with by Harry Lennon nicely. And hopefully that's going to be the end of the highlight. So hopefully not too many more of those chances for county. A 0.5 XG from that shot there, which is... Uh, Obviously a very good one for them. In the meantime, Hosanna brings the ball in towards Paul Mullen. Out to James Jones, who finds Paul Mullen again. Come on, Paul! Oh, just wide of the mark. He scored that sort of goal so many times this season. You'd back him to do it. Okay, 20 minutes gone. Maybe County just the slightly stronger of the two teams, which I'm surprised about, if I'm honest with you, because... Uh, I was fully expecting them to be more tired than we are. If we go to general info, you can see they are way more tired than we are because they had to play midweek. And surely this is going to be a formality. Like, they cannot hold up for 90 minutes against a fully fit Wrexham team that have just won the league, the best team in the National League. Surely they can't hold up. Surely we have got to get some goals in this one. But watch County score. Now, I've said all of this, watch County score. I promise you, it's going to happen, isn't it? It's actually going to happen. As Kelly Evans into Wooten wide of the mark. I think the game recognised that I corrected myself. But as the rest of the first half goes by, will there be one final chance for us as Mullen brought down in the penalty area? Referee! Why is there no penalty given there? A clear foul in my opinion. That's disgusting from the ref. I can't believe he's done that. But Young is through and puts it wide of the mark. We should have had a penalty there. I'm not happy with the referee. He's let us down and at half time 
it's 0-0. So we've played County twice this season, lost 1-0 very early on in the season, a bit of a boring game. The second game we won 3-2, it was on camera, and it was quite an entertaining game. So this game is going towards that first game where it was a 1-0, not a very interesting game at the moment. But the second half, I think it's actually where all the goals were scored in that 3-2 victory as well. So the second half is always going to be lively for these two teams as Mullen's shot was always going high and wide. Annoyingly, this always reverts back to basic info and not general info. I just like to keep it on general info so I can see the stamina of my players because no one ever uses bottom bar down here. I never look at it or I forget it's there, basically. Do you guys use it? Let me know in the comment section because I never do. We have a long throw, though. Toes is good at them. He throws it all the way to Paul Mullen, but it's collected by Slocum, the keeper. And with 18 minutes to go in this game, I'm thinking about maybe making a couple of changes, maybe taking Young off the pitch and bringing on a third striker. We do win the ball at the back, though, as Hosanna cuts inside into James Jones, who finds Paul Mullen, who finally fires in front in this cup final. You love to see it. Paul Mullen's 49th of the season. We need him to score one more. I mean, how unsatisfying is 49 goals? 50, beautiful. 49, oh, you hate to see it. James Jones with a superb ball, though. He's well over 35 assists. Might even be 40 assists now this season in all competitions. Notts County are looking to reply immediately as they get the ball out wide, swing it into the middle. Harry Lennon is there to clear it, but only as far as County players, about 30 yards or so out. Ball being brought back towards the penalty area. And Wooten equalises immediately, pegging us back. Okay, well, that's uh, literally 90 seconds or so after we scored our goal. That's really frustrating. What I think we do is bring on another striker. Although, before I do that, there's a highlight straight from kickoff. Let's watch the kickoff highlight and see what happens here. Medford Smith can find Mullen beautifully. Oh, he's put it wide. That would have been the perfect, perfect response. Okay. So, I will take Young off the pitch, I think. And we'll bring David Jones on. It's not David Jones, the wrong person. Uh, Dior Angus on instead. We'll do that. Bryce Hosan is having a kind of a poor game. I kind of want to leave him on. Medford Smith's tired. Will Cocolo on you come instead. We'll make those two changes for now. Although I need to actually probably change up Needham to a playmaker. 12 minutes to go. A Paul Mullen free kick for his 50th of the season. It is his 50th of the season. That's what you call a free kick. That's what you call a goal. And that is how you score your 50th of the season. Paul Mullen, take a bow. The keeper should have done so much better with that one, to be fair. It's not actually that great of a free kick. It's fairly central in the goal, to be fair. But we won't complain. It's a goal. It's Mullen's 50th. And as the clock ticks down, there's three minutes to go. That's all I'm going to say. I won't say anything else. I always get ahead of myself a little bit sometimes. I have to rein it in a little bit when the highlight starts. But Angus on the ball back to Hayden, into James Jones, over the top to Mullen, who heads it back down to a, a county player. They clear it up the top, though, and luckily for us, it goes straight through to Harry Lennon, who gets it out wide to Will Cocolo. Forward now into McAllendon, back out to a Cocolo who's been all right this season, to be fair, but I doubt we'll get him back next season at all. I don't think we really need him. Hayden now on the ball. It's becoming a long highlight, this one, and I feel like there's going to be a goal at the end of it. Hopefully for us, as Mullen hits the post, can't grab his hat-trick today. At least not yet, because another highlight is underway. Slocum's clearance out from the back, only as far as Cocolo. Into Needham, the playmaker now, into McAllendon, who finds uh, a Notts County player, and it goes back to Sam Slocum in the county goal. He hoofs it clear. Luckily, no one for county near it. We regain possession at the back. And as the clock ticks down, the longer these highlights go on for, the more nervy I'm going to get as Dior Angus manages to get on the end of that ball. He's got two players waiting in the middle, three players waiting, four players waiting in the middle. He finds McAllendon, who hits the post agonisingly close there. Second time we've hit the woodwork late on in this game. Goes out for a corner. Would be quite nice now for uh, Lennon to get his goals here. Two of them would be quite nice as Jones looks to swing it in towards the near post. And finds the head of Lennon cleared out on the back, unfortunately. And County, with four minutes of added time to go, are on a counter-attack. It's a 4v4 situation. Needham does what he has to do, bringing the player down, taking the yellow card for the team. That's 
thank you, Tristan. That's what I pay you to do. There is, though, oh, the highlights are continuing. A free kick from the, the highlight from the free kick, I should say. As it's taken short, it's offside. You love to see it. County messing that one up only until the next highlight, which is our free kick being taken. I mean, there's no chill right now as Paul Mullins through and scores an absolutely incredible goal. Paul Mullen, a cheat code in Football Manager. Wow, he's got his hat trick today here in the cup final, and surely that seals it. One touch, bang. I, that's so good. And so with it, we've won it. The FA Trophy has been won by Wrexham. You love to see it. Fantastic stuff from us here. We've done the non-league double, the league title, and the FA Trophy. On to new things. We're back in the Football League. We've got silverware. This season could not have gone better. You love to see it. Congratulations, boys. Congratulations to the team. They should be happy. Poor Notts County, though. You know, they've just lost to us there. They've probably got a game on Tuesday as well, I think. And I'm, I'm worried they might lose that one, too. But a nice £60,000 for winning that. You love to see it. We lead the team to glory. I'm praised by the board. Thank you very much, Ryan and Rob, for that one. Mullen on form with his hat-trick. He's 51 goals this season. It's been an absolutely superb season. So very quickly, we'll do a little bit of reviewing. 51 goals, Paul Mullen. Absolutely mental, that. I can't believe how many he has scored. Uh, 45 in the league, one in the FA Cup, five in the FA Trophy, and it doesn't count, actually, does it? But nine in non-competitive games as well, friendly. So, wow. What a player. He's here for another two years or so. Supposedly, leading player for the League One side. It sort of jumps in between League One and Championship, but still, he's a player that we should not have, but because of real-life circumstances, he's here. Same with Harry Lennon, the centre-back with 18 goals this season. Brilliant stuff from him. He has been dominant in the air. He's 6 foot 2, 17 jumping reach. Heading to only 12, to be fair, but still a very good player. Leading for League 2, so will give us a good hand in League 2 next season. To be fair, Liam McCallendon, he hasn't signed a contract anywhere else. We could give him a new one. He's wanted by Dundalk and Bristol Rovers. I mean, he has got 12 goals this season in all competitions. 11 in the league, over 42 games. It's, it's basically 1 in 4, which isn't a bad rating. It's just because I compare him to Paul Mullen. That's what it is. I compare him to Paul Mullen. And that's dangerous for any striker. I think the telling thing is, it says here, good enough for the National League, unlikely to improve. And I think that maybe, to me, confirms that he has to stay in the National League, as opposed to come to League 2 with us. James Jones also chipped in with uh, nine goals this season, but phenomenally, I actually cannot believe this. 42 assists for James Jones. He's wanted by whom? Birmingham and Hull, understandably, because he is a decent player for most championship sides. If we can get a lot of money for him, we might have to let him go because he's just so, so good. It would it'd be difficult to let him go because he has been so good. And he's got a contract till 2024 with us. Again, like a lot of the players that are brought in in real life have been given three-year deals on big money but they deserve it. So it will depend on what sort of bids come in, but obviously those bids will come in in the transfer special. We will be back shortly for the transfer special, um, literally shortly because it's, the transfer window opens in like a week's time or so, and we already have obviously a few players ready to join the club. All the youth players that we sort of got in on trial from Premier League clubs, I'm trying to sign essentially. Not that they're gonna start for as much next season, but they're players for the future. So these guys are literally all joining us in a week's time or so, which is fantastic. The contracts for our players don't expire until the end of June as opposed to the end of May. So you can see here that we have, oh my gosh, a lot of players here with contracts expiring. Luke Young and Liam McCallendon are probably the only two that I might think about re-signing. But like I said earlier, Luke Young, he's not been brilliant this season. As a playmaker, five goals, nine assists, he's, it's nothing spectacular from him. McCallendon's 12 goals, five assists, maybe it's a bit harsh, but I think if we want to improve, we need to improve on those players. So for me, we're going to have a huge turnaround because all of these players here 
have barely featured this season. I mean, Kwame Thomas, for example, zero games. Jake Bickerstaff, zero games. Will Mountfield, zero games. Like, why would I play them? So it's likely they'll all go. Jake Garrett might come back next season. Colo won't come back next season. So essentially, even this Jake Hyde guy, actually, he's got a contract until next season, but I'll try and get rid of him anyway. So count him gone. The team is going to be very, very small. We're going to have to do a lot of work. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just get rid of these players' positions right now. And then we know what we've got to work with, essentially. We'll keep hold of Sanna, obviously, too. If I just put him on the bench temporarily as well. Essentially, all we have next season that I've got planned right now in the first team currently are 11 players. I think it's likely that we will play the same formation next season. Because it's worked well this season, and it's quite a defensive shape as well. And I feel like that might work well for League 2. So I'm tempted to sort of keep it the same. So, I don't know, that's what I have to try and do. Anyway, more on that next time, because next time will be the transfer special. It might be out tomorrow, it might not be. Uh, I'm away for quite a few days this week. It depends if I get the recording and editing all done. If not, there'll be a different video out tomorrow, I'm sure. But uh, it's either going to be tomorrow or Thursday for the transfer special. So, thank you very much for watching today. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you have done, make sure you do drop a like on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. Until next time, have a wonderful evening. Lots of love. Goodbye.